Hello everyone, this is Zen Monk Alala Fon from 200ok.ch and zentempo.net. Today I'm going to make a very short video about how to use NVIDIA GPUs to encode videos uh, or record videos, for example, with Caden Live and OBS in Debian. So what's the rationale for that? Well, you might already have a computer or notebook that already ships with an NVIDIA GPU if you wanted it or not. And if you use the NVIDIA hardware encoder, then your machine will be quieter uh, during video encoding tasks and it will finish those jobs a lot faster. Uh, I, for example, I have a ThinkPad X1 Extreme Generation 2 notebook, which I bought for uh, my development work. It has loads of power, many cores, the SSD is fast, 20, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and uh, I can make good use of that while I develop software. However, being a higher-end notebook, it already comes with an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 GPU, and that's a strong beast. I mean, I don't play a lot of games, and I don't crunch a lot of uh, machine learning models. However, I can make use of that great GPU when I record a screencast like this one or edit and encode video, like what I'm going to do after I record the screencast. Because in my personal experience, my notebooks really likes to mimic the sound of a jet engine when doing any of those tasks. So uh, the relevant feature here is called NVIDIA NVENC. The feature uh, does uh, video encoding, and it offloads the compute uh, intensive task from the CPU to the GPU. And you can use this encoder in many streaming and recording programs, for example, uh, open broadcaster software, better known as OBS, or Cadenlive, or even just with FFmpeg, which is the basis of many of those tools. However, uh, the NVIDIA encoder is a proprietary encoder, so it's not built into any of the base installations of those tools in Debian. Having said that, it's not that much work to get it going. First, uh, you have to install the dependencies. I'm assuming here that you already have the proprietary NVIDIA graphics driver running for your graphical session, for example, X11 or Wayland. If you don't have that yet, there's many uh, tutorials online. So what you do first is uh, you open a terminal and you run sudo apt update, sure, to get all the latest uh, package uh, metadata. And then you, ins then you install uh, the proprietary uh, uh, CUDA toolkit and lib uh, NVIDIA encode. That's the premise. I already did that, so uh, doing that will do nothing. I will also close the terminal. All the commands that I uh, have in those begin source block here, you can uh, enter into a terminal. That will actually take a while, and that will also compile a kernel module for you, so you might have to reboot or at least uh, restart your graphical session. Then you will have to install the NVIDIA codec APIs. Those are in the Git repository here at gitvideoland.org. All of those commands and uh, everything I will also put online in the blog post. So. I first create a source uh, folder, then I will clone this repository, and in there uh, I would run make and then make install. Unfortunately, there is no uh, Debian package for that, and I didn't bother to make one. I read the make install, and it's uh, rather straightforward, and it also has a make uninstall uh, or call similarly, I'm not sure, uh, which would get rid of the f files that it installs. So it's uh, it's not going to leave that big of a trace if you uh, want to get rid of it. And then what we're going to do is we install FFmpeg, but with a twist, we install it with the CUDA and uh, hardware encoding capabilities of NVIDIA. Uh, for that, we're going to download FFmpeg uh, as a Debian source package. Then we will modify the Debian source package with the uh, necessary flags. And then we compile it again and install it again. So it will be exactly the same one that uh, your Debian ships, but it will have a couple extra flags. 
Okay, so what you will have to do first is if you don't have it already, you will have to have a depth source entry in your etc apt sources list. So for me, that looks uh, like this. Oh, I have uh, I had this line here. I just, uh, whatever was my main one, I'm running Debian testing. I copied that line and added a dash source. This will give me all the Debian uh, package packages in source format, so not already compiled, but as a source file. Okay. Uh, after that, you will have to run apt update again. Then uh, I created a source folder for ffmpeg. I changed there. Then I told apt that I want to have the source package for ffmpeg. And then I installed all the dependencies that I need to actually compile ffmpeg on my machine. Uh, Debian has a very apt, uh, nice uh, command for that called apt build dependencies. So let me quickly uh, change to that folder. Um, source ffmpeg ffmpeg. So there it is. This is uh, what you will get when you enter this. You will get this uh, that nice folder here, ffmpeg. Uh, in my case, it was dash four three one, and this will actually have a Debian rules file. This is uh, a file which declares a little bit like a config file, what kind of flags you have running. And in those configurations, which will then be run by conf the configure script, I added those extra flags here. So they weren't there in the beginning. The whole file is verbatim the same, but I added those extra flags. It will add a CUDA compiler. It will run uh, add uh, NVIDIA hardware encoding, uh, some uh, libraries, and it will tell it where to get those uh, extra libraries. OK, then I save that file. And then I built that ffmpeg Debian package again with this command Debian build package. Uh, this will take a while. It took on my machine a couple of minutes, used all my eight cores very nicely. And after uh, some minutes, I found a lot of new uh, Debian files. So in the top level directory in source ffmpeg, there's a couple new Debian files here. One of them, for example, ffmpeg, but it has lots of dependencies. So what I did is I installed all of those dependencies. And that was that, actually. After that, I could use hardware encoding. Uh, so not that bad. So for example, in Cadenlife, which I'm running already here to record, uh, sorry, not in Cadenlife, in uh, OBS, which I'm running already to record the screencast, I uh, could go into the settings here, go to output, and then select hardware encoding. Before, I only had software encoding in here. So I just selected hardware encoding, and that's it. I didn't have to change anything else. That's very, very simple for uh, OBS. And already, when I'm recording the screencast right now, my machine barely makes any noise. And usually, it would go crazy. And I can also see in the NVIDIA uh, settings, NVIDIA settings, that my GPU actually is uh, quite a bit utilized. Usually it would be not utilized whatsoever because I'm not doing any 3D stuff right now, right? Okay. Then uh, that's that. So you can already use uh, FFmpeg. You can also check that ffmpeg has this codec by using ffmpeg dash codex. Let me make this a little bigger for you. Pipe through less, and I can check does it have this 
uh, flag. Yes, it does. It has this new proprietary encoder mechanism. That's nice. Okay. Uh, the last thing I did is uh, I use Caden Life uh, for uh, cutting and uh, encoding videos. And uh, I have uh, some settings here that uh, work well for me. They are optimized for publishing to YouTube. I, uh, to be fair, I completely copied those settings from someone else. I have the link in here under the rationale for Caden Live settings. It's from uh, this blog here. Some person called Alex, and he checked a lot of uh, settings. He checked with uh, what are the recommended uh, settings for YouTube, what are the best settings for FFmpeg with the NVIDIA hardware encoder, and then he explains all those settings in detail. Huh? He's using the MP4 container, he uses NVIDIA hardware acceleration, he uses a very good audio uh, codec with a high bitrate. Uh, then he has some settings that he found work well from a Stack Overflow post, good frame rate. Then YouTube says, please use consecutive B-frames that'll uh, help with not po post-processing on YouTube. And uh, with the MOF lags equals fast start, then the video on YouTube actually starts faster. Uh, and then uh, YouTube also has some recommendation on how the pixel format should work. Okay, I'm using those same settings. I will show you how to actually use those because this is uh, yeah, not tricky, but you have to know it. So when you go to Caden Live, and then you could go to Render, and in here you have all the pre-installed uh, settings for different formats. And what you can do is click any of them, then hit plus, and then copy those encoder sec settings in here. The extension will be MP4, and you don't have to give it a range of qualities because everything here is actually hard-coded. I mean, you could improve and make this uh, variable, but uh, we don't. There's no speed options. It will just go full beans, and the audio quality is also already encoded in here. I personally like to have just one setting that I like and reuse it all the time. Uh, then you will give it any name, for example, demo profile. And there you go. Now you have the demo profile well, and can use it. And you can use it. OK. To show you that Caden Life can make good use of those settings, I'm quickly, quickly zapping into the future. I already stopped the recording, and I am already post-processing the video that we just recorded together. Up on the top right, you can see the preview of the video that I did. I can actually hard code it, let it run. You could improve and make this. And into this gap here, I will add the video that we're recording right now. I will show you that uh, Caden Live makes use of the GPU. And for that, we will quickly make a preview uh, rendering of uh, this project. So I will render it, and I will say I want to use the hardware encoder. I will just uh, add it into demo MP4 for the moment, and I will hit render. Now, when it starts, we can check the NVIDIA settings. In here, we now have a high GPU utilization because I'm still recording using OBS. But now we are also getting a high video engine utilization. This is actually due to uh, Caden Live making use of the FFmpeg that we compiled, which makes use of the NVIDIA uh, hardware encoding. If this wouldn't run, let's abort this job, the video utilization will go down to zero. This will not be used unless you're using uh, something like an encoder. OK, so that's that for the demo from the future. So I will quit this part, and we will zap back to the video that we were just recording. 
enjoy. That's already it. Huh? Now you can go ahead and use hardware encoding, enjoy a less loud machine and faster encoding times. Uh -huh. Some uh, closing words. If you like this video or the following blog post, you can head over to our free and Libra open uh, source uh, software page. And if you like any of them, you could give it a star on uh, GitLab or uh, GitHub. It's on tronetok.ch. And then it says here 16 free uh, Libra and open source software projects. And there's a lot of them. We are a small team, but we like to do community work. Okay, so that's, that's that. Enjoy using faster and less loud video recording and encoding.